Happy New Year, everyone. Just gonna make myself some dinner here. It's gonna be a... Uh, gonna be reviewing uh, Wonka tonight. Happy New Year. Some mayo for the sandwich here. Went to, uh, went to Wonka tonight to uh, celebrate the New Year. It's a pretty decent crowd to be honest. Lots of, uh, seem like lots of families, you know. Nice, uh, family activity, you know. <clears throat> we got some, uh, provolone. Provolone. Right, so we have two slices here, so we'll still have a slice of provolone. We gotta eat sometime. And some roast beef. Sandwich of uh, roast beef left still. Just need some milk. Everyone's doing well. Uh, and almost complete here. We got uh, we still got some uh, nacho cheese Doritos. Uh, how are we doing, Sea Weights? How are we doing, Sea Weights? Happy New Year. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll start the review after I get through with dinner. Uh, I went to Wonka tonight. It was good. Movie reviews the main thing we're doing tonight, but um, 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start the review until after I get done with dinner, so just hanging out until then. How about that football game last night? We watched that last night. The Lions got robbed. It wasn't it wasn't clear during the broadcast. They they did a bad job during the broadcast, but uh, the evidence was was uh, overwhelming that he reported. <clears throat> so and then today, you guys see Lamar today. I think uh, the Ravens are for real, for sure. <clears throat> and the Chiefs pulled one out. Happy New Year's. And uh, I, I haven't watched the game tonight yet, so probably uh, probably turn the game on. No spoilers. <clears throat> no spoilers for the uh, Vikings and Packers. Yeah, it's the Steelers. We're doing uh, full spoilers in the review, so if you want to watch Wonka, you probably want to tune out for the review, but...
Have a good night. Yeah, uh, if you're tuning in from the East Coast, you got about 20 minutes, 19 minutes. We still got an hour, hour and 19 minutes here. If you just joined, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing the review after I finish my sandwich. Eat my last chip, so pretty soon here. All right, I'll finish. <clears throat> so, uh, so last warning here, we're gonna go, go through uh, Wonka tonight. Uh, full spoilers, if you don't wanna listen to spoilers, find something else to do with your uh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> but what I did tonight is I went to the uh, the eight o'clock showing of uh, Wonka, last last movie of the year, and I, I enjoyed it. <clears throat> I mean, I honestly wasn't thinking it was gonna be. You know, I, I didn't know what to think. I didn't have any. I mean, I I waited until I waited until New Year's uh, Eve here to see it. It's been out for a while, I think, right? But uh, so it wasn't on the top of my list to go see, but but. Uh, Obviously wanted to go out have a nice time uh, on the holiday uh, evening and uh, and I did it was it was a good movie um, it's a musical if you didn't know that mm. uh, starts with the opening number uh, and I don't know the opening number is good I uh, you have uh, you have uh, Tim Timothy Chalamet playing Wonka and uh, He's coming to town, and he uh, he has a 
12 coins, but he gets a, he gets a, I don't know, taken advantage of, and you know, he's just a, he's just a nice guy, and so throughout the song, he's losing all his coins, and by the end of the song, by the end of the number, he uh, tosses up his last coin and puts it in his pocket, but but his jacket has a hole in the pocket, and so it falls through his pocket and goes down the goes down the gutter. Uh, so, anyways, he, he's uh, he's penniless, he's broke, but but he is a he's a magician. So you know, he just takes off his top hat, and he starts pulling out his things out of his top hat. You know, uh, he, it's not a rabbit, but but he does have some carrots. Uh, uh, I guess for the rabbit, maybe. Mm. But uh, an endless scarf he has, and um, and like a, a teapot to make his uh, to make his uh, some sort of like hot chocolate or some, I guess. Um, but. Uh, but then some guy comes around to take advantage of him and he uh, takes him off to this house. It's clearly a, a con, but you know, he, he's, uh, I don't know, innocent and doesn't know any better. So he goes along with the con and uh, he's about to sign, sign away some like evil contract uh, at, this, uh, at this inn. This inn uh, gives him the uh, entrepreneur's rate which is just one one of these coins, but but there's a ton of fine print, a hidden fine print, and so the young uh, the young um, you know the supporting actress, uh, the young girl uh, who's like a, some sort of maid at the inn, uh, tries to alert him and tells him to read the fine print, and and uh, she gets scolded for that. But anyways, he uh, glances over the fine print and says, oh, everything's a order, and he signs it away. Well, it turns out, it turns out, uh, he gets, uh, he gets hit with all these uh, fees, <laughs> all these fees, uh, the most comical being the, uh, the mini bar fee. <laughs> uh, not, not an actual mini bar, but he, the, he uh, used the mini bar of soap, and so he gets, charged with that fee. Anyways, he, instead of, uh, instead of one coin that he has to pay back at, at uh, the next evening, uh, it turns into a thousand. Um, in the meantime, to earn his, uh, coins, uh, the next day he went and sold his chocolate and, uh, and that's where he me meets his, uh, nemesis, the, the chocolate cartel. There's, uh, three, there's three uh, chocolate uh, um, I don't know what you would call the the leaders of the cartel but um, there's three uh, different chocolate companies but they're all working together um, and so he starts selling his chocolate but they come and stop him uh, they get the police which Clearly, they bribe um, to come stop him. They stop him. So he only gets one coin when he goes back, and so he's going to pay his rent, but then that's when he finds out he's been fooled. He owes a thousand coins he can't pay, so he gets, uh, he gets trapped as a, as a, as a uh, permanent member of this uh, washing crew. Um, there's, uh, I think, four other people who suffered the same fate as Willy Wonka. And so they're in, they're in this crew already. And then, uh, you know, another, I guess maybe this is like the third musical number. There's, there was a, certainly a musical number when he's selling chocolate in the, uh, in the town square, but, which is okay, but uh, I think maybe the... Again, I, the, the opening number is pretty good, and then this uh, number where he's uh, learning his fate of being a, uh, being stuck here washing uh, 
washing clothes or sheets or whatever he's washing in this place. So it's another musical number. Pretty good. I liked it. Um, let's see. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Eventually he concocts a plan to, uh, sneak out, <coughs> sneak out of, out of his prison and sell chocolate, uh, and use those proceeds to pay off their debts. And so, uh, he puts the plan in motion with the help of his, uh, young assistant and, uh, he, he gets out, um, at some point, though, uh, we are introduced to uh, Hugh Grant's character, the Oompa Loompa, and we find out that he has stolen the chocolate, or perhaps stolen the chocolate, we don't know. <clears throat> and so they have to go make more chocolate, but to get chocolate, he needs milk, but not cow's milk, he needs, uh, he needs giraffe milk. So they go to the zoo, and they use their magic chocolate to get past the guard, and then, and then uh, they get the milk from the the giraffe uh, again. Willy Wonka and his young, his young assistant, um, who's the maid, right? The maid at the the inn. And this is where we get the her story. We get her story um, in in song. So this is like, I think this is probably the fourth number in the song in the movie. Also pretty good uh, getting getting some backstory of, of her situation. Um, but at this point, I, I think it's at this point that, you know, uh, Willy Wonka promises her that, you know, he's gonna, gonna take care of her. Mm. And eventually he does, he does promise her um, a lifetime supply of chocolate. I think maybe that was Maybe before, yeah, when he was when he was earlier concocting his plans. Uh, anyways, we also uh, I think I think what happens next is we learn more about this this uh, chocolate cartel. Um, they're <laughs> they're they're bribing the police to 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 stamp out the competition, um, and they're also aided by. They're aided by this uh, religious, uh, uh, the 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 corrupt uh, corrupt religious. So you so you got the the corrupt uh, got the corrupt police. You got the corrupt uh, religious, uh, the corrupt church, and obviously this uh, this cartel. I don't know. Um, so uh, it, it, it's kind of a, I, I couldn't decide at the start whether it's like pro-capitalism or anti-capitalism, like, like, because uh, the police wouldn't let him, uh, there was, there was all these regulations, which, oh, okay, they, they just don't like capitalism, but, but then it seemed like, uh, it seemed like with, uh, with uh, Willy Wonka getting duped, uh, by by the fine print that the the real thing was uh, the movie was screaming out for a consumer uh, protection like you know, we really need these consumer protections so maybe the opposite in fact I don't know but uh, uh, where was I um, oh yeah we learn more about uh, kind of the the forces working against uh, Willy Wonka. Um, so, so they're, they're bribing heavily the police chief, uh, and there's a, again, another good musical number with the police chief and they're trying to bribe him and he keeps on turning them down. They keep on raising their offer and he keeps turning them down, but, uh, comedically at the very last offer is just too ridiculous and he accepts and he promises to, uh, to uh, send Willy Wonka a message. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
and so he so he does so so he uh, he he ends up uh, ca- catches Willy Wonka and and beats him, tells him he can't sell his chocolate, and that's uh, that's when uh, Willy Wonka decides he he needs a, a bigger crew, so he gets the whole crew working with him. Now the reason they're able to escape the the crew that are supposed to be in this uh, workhouse doing laundry is is he uh, develops a machine to make the dog do the work, uh, which is which is ingenious, right? But um, anyways, they they get the whole crew in on it, and uh, eventually they make it work. But then uh, the the head person in the truck cartel so gets some sort of information, and and uh, from intelligence they they realize they're at this uh, workhouse, and so. Um, right before Willy Wonka's gonna make his uh, big uh, store opening, uh, well, he does make his big store opening, and it seems like it's going well, but then all of a sudden the chocolate starts doing bad things to people, and then they realize uh, they, someone had poisoned the chocolate. We later learn it was uh, it was uh, the people at the inn, you know, at the direction of of the chocolate cartel had uh, poisoned the chocolate. And so it seems like uh, the whole thing is going to be ruined and uh, it's just not going to work out and uh, the the chocolate cartel comes to, to Willy Wonka and uh, says, okay, we got a deal for you. We're going we're gonna to pay off all your friends' debts uh, and we're going to send you off on a one-way ticket to the North Pole. The only thing you have to do is promise you're not going to make uh, you're not going to make any more chocolate. And so, so Willy Wonka, uh, wanting to uh, keep his promise to his young friend, says, "Okay, I'll, I'll do it." Uh, but eventually, but uh, as as he gets on board uh, his one way uh, ship, um, we do have uh, the return of uh, Hugh Grant's character, the Oompa Loompa, and. It started kind of as an adversary to, to Willy Wonka, but he has uh, certainly befriended him, uh, where he's kind of looking out for him. And uh, they, they discover that, just in the nick of time, that the boat is actually doesn't have a captain, and it was uh, laden with explosives. So they jump off the boat, and... Uh, swim back to shore and then we find out that uh, all of the people in the workhouse they've been freed as promised except for the young girl which wasn't who wasn't uh, but uh, Willy Wonka did discover that uh, it does appear that the young orphan girl is actually a relative to the uh, to the head guy in the the chocolate cartel. So he understands uh, that she may not be safe. They go back, they rescue her. Uh, they go out to um, to really um, handle the the three evil people in the chocolate cartel because they have a ledger of all their evil deeds and so they just need to get a hold of this ledger and so they concoct a whole plan to uh to sneak into the church because right the 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 cartel does all their evil business under the church so they they come up with a plan to sneak into the church and they do that but just in the nick of time uh the the head guy of the cartel, he realizes something's up and he stops them just in the nick of time. He throws Willy Wonka and and uh, his young assistant into a uh, pit filled with chocolate. They're gonna they're gonna be asphyxiated by chocolate, death by chocolate. But uh, they are saved by by Hugh Grant uh, by by the Oompa Loompa. He comes in and saves the day. And um, they get the ledger. All the bad guys get arrested, including 
including the innkeep um, and and we do learn uh, along the way that the young girl is actually the the head evil guy's uh, niece it would seem it was it was the brother's uh, child I think out of wedlock um, but then then the brother died and and uh, so so the thing is that the young girl would be part heir to the to the chocolate fortune if uh, if someone knew about her existence so that's why uh, that's why he tried to hide her from from the world but anyways uh, it all works out it all works out great and uh, and um, Charlie uh, sorry <laughs> Willy Wonka Willy Wonka uh, oh what <laughs> All right, uh, we got some, uh, we got some, uh, well, obviously, uh, Happy New Year if you're in the East Coast. Happy New Year. Uh, anyways, uh, we learn, um, um, we do uh, finally see uh, Willy Wonka is trying to, uh, start this uh, chocolate store because he wants to reconnect with his mother who died. And, and you know, finally he does. Finally he, he sees uh, her appear to him and, and he's happy. And, and the moral of the story was the, the, the secret to the chocolate isn't, isn't anything about the chocolate. It's, it's who you're eating it with. It's who you're eating the chocolate with. That's the, that's the moral of the story, so... Um, I don't know. It was it was a good movie. I I enjoyed it. It was a musical, and uh, I don't know. I kind of like. Uh, I know musicals aren't for everyone, right? But I don't know. I kind of like them. Kind of like them. So uh, I don't know. I, uh, let, let me grab some chocolate here. If you saw my last stream, uh, I did get some chocolate, so let's uh, let's break it out. Uh, one, because uh, it's it's uh, 2024. If you're in the East Coast, still got still got 57 minutes here in uh, Central Time Zone, but uh, some chocolate. Hawaiian chocolate for the new year and for our uh, Willy Wonka review. I like the movie. Um, it's a nice way to, to, to spend the New Year's Eve holiday. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Hope you have a hope you had a, a nice evening tonight. Hope you have a, a great 2024. If you couldn't tell from from the past two streams, we've got more streams coming up. So uh, stop back in again if you want. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Maybe we'll go to a new, another movie. And maybe we'll watch college college football. I don't know. I haven't decided. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Happy New Year. Mm -hmm.